Well, happy game day morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is game day morning. I'm actually going over to pick up my buddy, David Wiley. He's uh, going to be cooking. Uh, we're going south today. We're going south. We got cornbread, honey cornbread. We got collard greens. We got fried fish. We got chicken wings, uh, macaroni and cheese, uh, potato salad. I mean, we got all the good stuff, all the fat busters. And once the season's over, I'm going to get back on keto because I'm a fat ass. But you know what? I'm going to enjoy the season. I'm going to enjoy it. And um, can't wait because it's uh, 8.30 right now. Of course, 1 o'clock, we'll be on live. Um, following our Cowboys, it's a little bit chilly outside today. Temperatures raised up to 37. I think it gets up to 50. So we're going to be having the patio heaters going. Definitely going today. So I'm sitting here thinking, you know, there's so much that's being made up about Odell, you know. The thing I always say is the players especially if you're not Cowboy players. Understand, you see more Cowboy players micromanage more than anybody else. You don't see the Jets on regular. You don't see the Cleveland Browns on regular. You don't see what performances people are having elsewhere. You see the highlights. And in your mind, you think that the highlights, oh man, that, that you know, that, that point is good. You know, like Deshaun Jackson had the 80 yard touchdown, you know, catch and run um, for the Rams versus Seattle. You see that highlight, you say, oh my God, Deshaun Jackson, because we had one of our, one of your, one of your fans out there, I'm not going to put your name out there, but he's like, we need to sign Deshaun Jackson, man, He still got it. I'm like, bro, he's only had nine receptions on the season. Over the course of the last three years, he hasn't had more than 250 yards, he's had a hard time staying healthy. It's like, but no, man, no. You know, Michael Gallup, you know, he's going with the bag of money and things. You know, I say, you, you, we signed Deshaun Jackson, and then we signed up for another year on a proven deal. It's like, no, dude, no, 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 no. He's done. Odell is that guy, too. Odell, through the course of the last few years, has had a hard time staying healthy. Now, I get it that, that you're saying that, you know, maybe Baker Mayfield's not the best quarterback, you know, out there. But, you know, what? very rarely are we in the perfect situation that things are always going to be exactly what you need. At some point, you have to start making plays. And I will give you that some of the times, Baker Mayfield may be throwing the ground. But when you get the ball in your hands, you know, I wish that his dad, because when you, when you show things, in an argument, what we always do, there's three sides to every argument. There's your side, there's my side, and somewhere in the middle lies the truth. I'm sure Baker Mayfield is responsible for a lot of the things that have happened with Odell. But Odell is also responsible for a lot of the things that have happened to Odell, too. Staying healthy, you can't blame that on Baker Mayfield and Browns. That's on Odell Beckham Jr. When the ball's in your hands, that's not on Baker Mayfield, that's on Odell Beckham Jr. And so when you see his dad, his dad's not gonna go through and say, yeah, well, this one, he did drop the ball. He should, no, he's not gonna show that. He's gonna show everything that's in the best light of Odell Beckham Jr. And so you say, well, look, he was open, he was open. He was, okay, yeah, he may have been, may have been open. But he's been open times and been hit and dropped the ball too. Just kind of saying. But my thought is, in here is, is it possible that Odell goes the route of Jalen Smith? So here's the thing with Jalen Smith. We as Cowboy fans, uh, we know that Jalen Smith, because as bad as that defense was, we were out there all the time. We couldn't stop anybody. And by sheer numbers, Jalen Smith had more opportunities to get tackles and we weren't tackling guys at the line of scrimmage. Jalen Smith, yes, he led the team in tackles. But the problem was, with Jalen Smith, he was a liability in coverage. And 
he could not step into the tackles. It was more hanging on. And see, as a linebacker, you want a linebacker who's an enforcer, a guy who when he hits you, you get hit and you go backwards. And Jalen Smith was never able to do that. Sadly, because of the foot. I, I believe if the foot had truly healed, he would have been a great linebacker because he had the instincts, just did not have the body to go with it. And it's just like a lot of players as they get older. You've got the mindset to be that player. You know things that you wish you had when you first got into the league, but you don't have that skill, or that, excuse me, that youth on your side and that athletic ability on you. And it's kind of tragic. You wish you had that mental ability from the get-go to be that guy. But as you get older, as you get older, it's that skill and mental ability that keeps you able to produce going down the field. Jerry Rice was not as fast as he was in year 18 as he was in year five. But his skill set, his route running precision is what carried him through there. And those are things that I don't think you have with Odell Beckham Jr. And so I look at that and say, is it possible, just like Deshaun Jackson with the Rams, I mean, he didn't do bad. He still had 200 and some odd yards on eight catches. Could Odell go the route of Jalen Smith, where they bring him in, and it's kind of like, try him out, and it just doesn't work. It just doesn't fit. And he ends up getting released. I think that that's a definite possibility. I, I, I could be wrong. I believe me. This is my own personal theory. I, I'm just, from watching some of the games that he's played in this year, um, and his, his body of work, I think he's more on the way out than being this game changer that everybody seems to think that he is. And it's funny because as I watch ESPN and NFL Network, and I listen to all the experts that go through and they tell you what's going to happen, very rarely do you actually have people call them on the things that they do, the predictions that they make. You know, remember how they talked about Kyle Shanahan and this year the 49ers are going to be a great team. You know, right? Remember they talked about the Washington football team. They're going to be a great team and everything else. You know, one of the top. They could be one of the top contenders in the NFC with that defense. Nobody really knows. All these experts put it out there, and we take it as the gospel of what's actually going to happen. But very rarely are they right. We have Cowboy fans that are like, oh my God. We got to hold on to Jalen Smith, man. You know, he's going to haunt us with the Packers. We'll see. All right, so game day. Got to love it. I'm Mark Holmes. Well, are you ready for some football? I know I am. Peace.